for a while you know I am doing a Accutane journey series and basically I'm just updating you guys month to month how my acne looks at the moment so right now is month three and I am excited to show you guys what my acne looks like but first if you're new here and if you're thinking about getting on Accutane or if you have literally tried everything and you're just trying to research and trying to see okay is Accutane for me go ahead and check out my series video to see my progress with the drug because I have a whole series of videos on my experience with Accutane so if you haven't watched my first monthly update on my Accutane go ahead and pause this video and go check that out and then just watch it in order so I wanted to give you guys a general update on the process of me getting the drug and the side effects that I've been experiencing so far since it is month three so the dosage is getting higher and higher when they start you off they prescribe you the amount of milligrams that goes well with your weight so I was prescribed at 20 20 milligrams and they just up it while they track you they look at your skin and they track your monthly to monthly progress and they up the milligrams just pertaining to how well you're doing and before you get every Accutane drug you have to go on the iPledge website and you have to fill out a questionnaire so they have to make sure that you're verifying that you know the process of getting Accutane what to do on it what not to do on it and when you're a woman they're like you definitely cannot get pregnant on this drug you have to be on two forms of birth control. So you have to fill all of that out before you go in. Well, the problem that I just currently have right now is I didn't get to pick up my last prescription, which is okay because I still have a lot of pills that I could take. But I didn't get to pick up my last prescription because I missed the mark. It was just such a busy week. And I literally missed the opening mark of getting the drug. And I also need to contact my doctor because I need a different prescription of Accutane. So if you didn't know, they don't sell Accutane anymore. Like They don't sell the drug, but they sell it under generic brands now so they have different kinds of brands for Accutane and I need to tell them that they need to like prescribe me a different brand that goes better with my um, insurance so make sure that you tell your doctor to do that because Accutane can get super expensive I mean it can get so expensive and you don't want to come out of pocket for something when you could just pay under $20 for it now for the side effects that I have been experiencing I am getting super super dry like the inside of my nostrils <laughs> Oh my gosh, guys. It's getting so dry, so crusty. My hands are getting dry. I also suffer from eczema, but my eczema is actually clearing up right now. Thank you, God. But, um... Yeah, my hands are getting dry, arms are getting just even drier. I'm also getting like dry eyes because what Accutane does is it literally just dries your whole entire body out. Like it dries you out. And that's what's helping with healing your acne. What I'm so happy about is that my skin, my hyperpigmentation on my forehead is just getting like it's just disappearing like it's finally going away it's definitely helping with that and I'm gonna do like a super close-up and just compare it to the previous month for you guys here as well but yeah so my doctor basically told me for the dryness just use a lot of lotion use your Vaseline for your face because if you guys didn't know I did have a bad reaction for um, the first time that I got on Accutane so now I kind of like know how to control my reactions and stuff I'm just keeping my skin super super moisturized you have to keep your skin moisturized make sure you're drinking a lot of water and make sure you're taking care of your health and things like that while you're on the drug right now as you can see this is before I started Accutane this is how my skin looked and it was just so bad my hyperpigmentation was terrible like I absolutely hated hated it I just could not go out without wearing makeup I just did not feel comfortable in my own skin now with month one is when things started clearing up a little bit it wasn't super super noticeable but you do see my skin finally clearing up and hyperpigmentation has always dark marks has always been my biggest focus and the main reason why I got on this drug because nothing else helped me now with month two it is like getting significantly better 
better than all the other months. I actually was gonna do like weekly updates, but I was like monthly is better and it's just less photos and sometimes I forget to take pictures because I'm so busy during the week. So monthly is just, I hope you guys enjoy like the monthly updates. So now what I'm gonna do for you guys is show you close up what my skin looks like now. And what's really insane is I did not realize how many freckles that I have. Like, my dark marks were so dark to the point I didn't even realize I had these many freckles. But here is this side of my face. I don't have any face makeup on. And it's finally clearing up. Here's my chin. Here's this side of my face, which is super clear. I'm so glad about that because I used to have acne coming right down here, just leaving scars and right here. It just used to be all over my cheeks. Now my real problem area has been my forehead. So here is my forehead and how it looks right now. So it's finally clearing up. I do have very faint marks. I know you guys could see that just up here. They're very faint. And right now I'm just gonna be working on the discoloration. But yeah, I, I did not know that I had freckles like this like I knew I had freckles because I used to have some on my nose as a kid but I didn't know I had this mini that's crazy yeah of course I'm gonna keep you guys updated on my whole entire journey so if you're not subscribed to my channel subscribe so you could get just some updates on things if you guys want a little Accutane makeup tutorial I can do that for you guys like what kind of makeup to wear on Accutane because you don't want to clog your pores so I could give you guys that I can give you guys like anything that you want go ahead and ask me down below in the comments if you enjoyed this video please give me a thumbs up I love you guys so much thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you guys in my next one bye